Dear Church family, the current COVID-19 situation in this country is not encouraging at all. Total cases are up, hospitalization rates are up, and death rates are up. You know, I look at it more as an elongated and, and exacerbation of the original first wave. If you look at when we got hit badly, which was dominated early on by the Northeastern corridor, particularly the New York metropolitan area, the cases went way up and then came back down to a baseline of about 20,000 cases. So we never really cleared and got down to a very low baseline, which I would consider to be less than 10,000 per day, maybe just a couple of thousand per day. So we stayed at 20. Then you remember when we tried to, quote, open up the economy again and open up the country. There were several states that did that in a somewhat varied way. Some did not adhere very well to the proposed guidelines. And what you saw, particularly along the southern states, Florida, Georgia, Texas, Southern California, Arizona, we started to see a peak that brought us up to around 70,000 per day. Then it came back down again, only to about 30 to 40,000 and was stuck at around 40,000 for several weeks to if not a month or more. And now as we're getting into the cold weather, we came back up again to the worst that we've ever had, which was over 80,000 per day. So if you look at the chart, which you just showed, we've never really had waves in the sense of up and then down to a good baseline. It's been up and wavering up and down till now we're at the highest baseline we've ever been, which is really quite precarious. So, you know, it's kind of semantics. You want to call it the third wave or an extended first wave. No matter how you look at it, it's not good news. In San Bernardino, we are not as bad as other places, but we are still in the purple zone. So we certainly have a lot of work to do. As a result of the worsening situation, of COVID-19 pandemic, the state of California has issued a travel advisory ahead of the holidays as COVID-19 cases increases. The advisory encourages residents to stay local and avoid non-essential travel out of state. It also asks those who arrive from another state or country to self-quarantine for 14 days. In just a few months, we've learned a lot more about the COVID-19 virus. It's real. And it's dangerous. So on behalf of all of us working on the front lines, please take it seriously. And while we don't yet have a cure or a vaccine, we do know how to keep you and your loved ones safe. Wear a mask. Wash your hands. Stay, stay six, six feet, feet apart. apart. Do your best to stay out of crowded spaces. And get a flu shot. It's even more important this year. We, we can, can do, do this. this if we do it together. It is my hope that we will take these measures seriously to prevent ourselves from contracting the virus or for passing it around to other people.